lost an eye during the Great War, or I'd earn it myself. The Great War? What's your story, old man? I was the finest scout in the Legion once. Tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing scout? people trouble. Lost my helmet in one of the old caves. My pretty, pretty helmet. Life just got worse after that. Kept losing things. So many things. Right. What if I could find it for you? Oh, you could? I sure would love to have it again. Could show you some of my old scouting tricks. Alright. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. You were really in the army. What? You see a man fallen on hard times, and you think he's been like that forever? I was there. I fought in the Great War. I was on the field at Anvil. And when I was struck down, they left me. You understand? They left me for dead. I didn't leave them. I do miss that helmet. I get it. But this land is ours, and we'll see it ah, quite I see clean. you have the wine. The scourge that Hand has it over. We'll talk. Our Let's get this over with. Dreams. Good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. You're trying to bribe me now? Not at all. I consider it an investment longing my life as far as golden glow estate goes i'll tell you what i know i was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big she flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all i had to do was pay erinkoff for the estate i brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed did she say why she was doing any of this not at all I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. That's it? No name or anything? In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. I think you're lying. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. It's not that easy, friend. I know you. There he is. Etienne's trying to keep eyes on him without getting too close. <clears throat> Where is he going? Alright. 
Try to get in a little closer now or we're going to lose him in these buildings. There he is. Close. There it is. What's a goat doing here? Wanna lose him? go. Did we lose him? What's that? Freaking saw. Wait, you see that? There's an air current. coming from somewhere in here.
We last spotted him just on the other side of that boat. Alright. Let's go have a look up here. Dear Vittoria, thank you most kindly for your invitation to your wedding, and I must offer my most sincere apologies for not being able to attend. You know diplomatic relations between the Altmeri Dominion and the Mede Empire have been interesting lately. Your cousin is as stubborn as he ever was, and I know without your assistance we would not have come as far with him as we have. Things are getting interesting, my dear and your invaluable assistance is much appreciated. Your desire to undertake such a fortunate match on our behalf is surely above and beyond the call of duty. I can't wait to hear more about your new husband, his family, and their religious persuasions. I'm glad to hear that the little bottle I sent your way arrived on time. I do hope your husband finds its contents on your wedding night to be most satisfactory. As always, you have my everlasting support, and I will ensure that no one ever implicates you in anything remotely unsavory. In the meantime, I've sent a few gifts with this courier. He and his family are the sort of nobles we want advising our dear Titus, and I hope you will honor his request for an audience with the Emperor should he arrive, as well as anything he may wish from the East Empire Company. I assure you, that you will be well compensated. This will all be over soon, my dear, and I can promise that once your cousin signs the decree, the future will be assured as a reward for your loyalty best wishes. First Emissary Ellen Wynn. Wow. Vittoria Vici is in the pocket of the Thalmor. Take their gold. Seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> All right. Well, our target is not up here. But we discovered some very interesting information. If you remember, several episodes ago, we encountered a couple of nobles traveling along the roads of Skyrim. We were very near Iverstad at that time. And they said they were headed to solitude for the wedding of Vittoria Vici. Now we discover this interesting letter implicating. Vittoria Vici in a plot with the Thalmor that will in part have her husband being assassinated on his wedding night, which is interesting. Alright, we're going to look in here and see all this wind blowing through here. There's obviously something going on here.
you, trap. He's gotta be down here, right? Okay, there's two of them. else of value here that we can use. There's a wine, I like that. We'll take a bottle of that too. We need to keep this quiet, which means we need to do our best to deal as much damage as we can. I'm going to add additional paralysis to the bow. Remember, because we're in this alternate armor, not getting any of the additional bonuses we would normally get on, on archery, for example. What are they doing? Is he looking for something? Or showing off, perhaps? This guy we're gonna use paralysis again we want to make sure that he drops here we don't want him to drop anywhere near that corner where someone down the cavern we can't see might see him drop
He dropped into the water. In full paralysis, is it possible he drowned? No. obviously recovered, came up out of the water, coming back to hunt us down, and I guess we weren't where he expected us to be, which is a good thing, right? Come on. There we go. There's a boat. Alright. This area's got to have an outlet to the outside, then, if there's a boat here. Okay, we're going to come back here a ways. This seems like a good spot where we could slip into the water. This guy is also going to slip into the water with us. I think it would definitely be obvious to Etienne here, too. We, we should be able to immediately tell that what we're encountering here is seawater as well. Which would be another indication. that we're dealing with a cavern here that has an outlet. Now we see more boats as well. Okay, here we got a guy walking a patrol pattern. There he is, right there.
we scared him and he definitely came back here to get close to his crew, probably for protection. He's got a, he's got a bodyguard uh. in here somewhere. Okay, there we go. Right there. The best way, I think, to get full cooperation from Gullamai is probably to scare the shit out of him, don't you think? Isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything. Honestly, please, he'll have me killed. Mercer doesn't have to know. I see you wish to be reasonable. Perhaps I misjudged you. The name of the person you want. It's Carlia. You say that name like I should know it. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. And you're helping her? Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. Where is she now? I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Don't even think about it. <laughs> You're lucky, my friend. You needed to know more? I'll keep quiet about your scam, but you owe me. Now you're speaking my language. Tell you what, if you need any stolen goods fenced, you bring them to me, and I'll pay you good money for them. Consider me your new friend in the North. Right. Why did she purchase Golden Glow? I asked her the same thing, and she wouldn't come out and tell me. But now that I know who she is, I'd say she's trying to hit the Thieves' Guild where it hurts. How would that hurt the Guild? Maeve and Blackbriar needs Golden Glow's honey for her mead. She's been using the Guild to keep the estate under her thumb. If the owner cuts the Guild out of the picture, he's cutting Maven out of the picture, which she can't afford. If I was Maven, I'd blame the Guild for weakening and not being able to handle the place. Which makes Maven lose faith in the guild. Exactly. For the guild to survive, they need Maven's support. This Carlia must have spent a lot of time and resources planning this. I'm keeping the deed. Any objections? Consider it a gift to ensure your silence. That thing seems to be bringing me nothing but trouble anyway. Carlia didn't even want it. She wanted to keep the sale a secret. I can see how well that went. Now you won't forget to tell Mercer I cooperate of course. with you. Very well, Lizard. You work for me now, you understand? You work for the Hound. Nobody else. Sure, pay your homage, pay your dues to the Guild. But in the end, if anybody is going to slit your throat, It'll be the Hound. What do I ask for in exchange? Merely information. I'm looking for a man named Vantis, 
who was held by the Thalmor. Any word you can give me about the Thalmor, their prisoners, their movements, anything at all would be much appreciated. It shouldn't be very difficult, considering you're housed here in solitude. You have your ear to the ground, I assume, all the time. Get the information to me in any way you can. Fail me in this, and I will pay you another visit. And next time, nobody lives. Certainly, uh, I think Etienne would... Gosh, close. Take advantage of that. Staff of the Dramora Pit Fighter summons a Dramora Pit Fighter for 69 seconds, gains 25% extra damage for each nearby enemy. Holy cow. Take that sword, too. Children of the Sky. Oh, yeah. We're taking that. It's about the Nords, probably, right? Hanging Gardens. Haven't seen that either. Taking that. Quite an operation you've got here. Very close. Solitude Guard Shields. Oh, wait. It's a Solitude Guard Shield and a Markarth Guard Shield. Interesting. I'm looking there. Two gold. Wow. Come on. You don't mind if I have a look around, right? Well, we, we left two of his thugs untouched. He should be able to use his two remaining thugs to rebuild his operation. I guess two thugs that we know of. Um, I think there were, there was an offshoot, a cave that we bypassed by going through the water. Six. We'll take that. You need. 
needed to know more? No, not especially. You'll hear from me. How do they get their boats in and out of here? Maybe they don't. Maybe the boats are just for ferrying all of their contraband up and down that canal, and then they transfer it through here somehow. It could be. 